matter how the inbreeding redneck 45, the, the inbreeding redneck um, Republicans try to spin this, um, 45 is an impeached is an impeached squatter, and he will have that impeachment on on his title for the rest of his life. And this is what Pelosi has been telling people. No matter how many times McGonnell tries to game and ship it and cover it up, it's still gonna the impeached t- title is still gonna be there. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who's a Democrat from California, said Sunday that that 45 is impeached for life, regardless of any gamemanship by Senate Majority Leader Bitch McConnell, who's a Republican from Kentucky. One she accused of orchestrating the cover-up of 45's actions as the Senate awaits for the House to transmit the articles of impeachment. Challenging McConnell to hold a serious trial that concludes testimony for witnesses, Pelosi did not rule out the possibility that the House would subpoena former National Security Advisor John Bolton if the Senate chooses not to. She repeatedly chastised um, Bitch McConnell for signaling for signaling that he's not inter- interested in fully weighing the House's charges, dismissing as a cover-up. Dismissing as a cover-up, if they want to go that road again, the senators who are thinking now about voting for witnesses or not, they will have to be accountable for not having a fair trial, Pelosi said on, ABC's, on ABC News this week. The Speaker delivered her comments only days before a Senate impeachment trial is expected to begin, the third time a U.S. squatter will have faced potential removal from the office following impeachment by the House, the other ones being Bill Clinton and, An- and Andrew Johnson. Pelosi said she will meet with the House Democrats on Tuesday morning to discuss the timing of a vote on impeachment ma- managers, the half dozen lawyers who will prosecute the case and transmit the charges to the Senate. A trial could start as early as Wednesday if the House acts quickly. The lawmakers and aides have speculated that it will not begin in, in earnest until the following week. The House passed two articles of impeachment on December 18th for abuse of power and obstruction of, and obstruction of Congress. Pelosi surprised observers by not immediately transmitting the charges to the Senate, a, a strategy aimed at pressuring Bitch McConnell into naming fairer terms for the trial, which he has n- no plans to do. Sunday's interview took place after Pelosi moved to end the three-week standoff, signaling in a letter to colleagues on Friday that she would transmit the articles to the Senate this week, even without any clarity from McConnell on how the trial would be conducted. The Speaker... On- the speaker on Sunday accused Bitch McConnell of cover of a cover up for s- signing onto a resolution to allow the Senate to dismiss impeachment charges if the House did not transmit them within 25 days of their approval. And the Sunday afternoon tweet, 45 called for the dismissal with no trial, which doesn't work that way. Many believe that the Senate giving credence to a trial based on the um, based on evidence crime. Um, and so we got rather than not write dismissal against a partisan Democrat, which not credibility that that, uh, that otherwise does not. That does not have I um does not have they already proved that they have evidence of crimes. Um that he did pressure the Ukrainian president. The impeachment was not a hoax and it was not a witch hunt. They already proved that. The potential lack of witness and documentation in a Senate impeachment trial would be another cover up Pelosi said, defending her decision to uphold the articles even though it did not pr- produce the concessions she sought with um that she sought from Bitch McConnell. We wanted the public to see the need for witnesses first-hand, um, uh, uh, witnesses with first-hand knowledge of what happened and documentation, she said. After this week, host George Stephanopoulos noted that, McC- that Bitch McConnell did not budge on witnesses at all. Pelosi said he would be hold- held accountable to the American people for that. They take an oath to have a fair trial, she said. Now the ball is in their court to do- to either do, what- do that or they pay the price for not doing it. Senate Republicans have rallied behind this- the precedent set during um, when Bill Clinton was president in 1999's impeachment trial in which the case for removal was presented and rebutted before decisions were made about calling witnesses or seeking further evidence. Pelosi dismissed comparisons to 1999 for at least six reasons. The biggest one is that the witnesses who eventually testified were all deposed before their public testimony. The evidence was there, she said. It was just a question of bringing it more to the format. McConnell's no-witness trial strategy has been... Bitch, bitch McConnell's no-witness trial strategy has been completed... has been complicated by several... developments in the two weeks. Senator Susan Collins, who's a Republican from Maine, has said that she is working with a small group of Republicans to ensure that the trial includes witnesses. And and Bolton announced this month that if the Senate subpoenas him, he is prepared to testify in the fall. He rebuffed questions and requests to serve as a witness during the House inquiry. Pelosi said the House hasn't eliminated the possibility of the House drafting further articles saying, again, let's just see what the Senate does. Stephanopoulos noted that just before the show began, um, 45 posted a tweet calling Pelosi crazy and deriding House Intelligence um, and, dire- and deriding, um, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff. Don't, if, anybody knows about, uh, if anybody knows about being crazy, it's 45. 
It's Sunday morning, and it, I'd like to talk about some more pleasant subjects than the erratic nature of the squatter, Pelosi said in response. But he has, he has to know that every knock for him is a boost. Everything he says is projection. When he calls someone crazy, he knows that he is. Everything he says, you um, everything he says, you know, you just turn to the back to, to who he is. House M Minority Leader Kevin McC Kevin McCarthy, who's a Republican from California, suggested on faux news Sunday morning futures that Pelosi Delivery held off sending articles to the Senate to delay a trial that will require Senator Senator Bernie Sanders, who's an independent from from Vermont, a 2020 presidential candidate, to attend in person. McCarthy argued that this would boost former Vice President Joe Biden, one of Sanders' rebels in the in the runner in the run-up to the February 3rd Iowa Democratic caucuses. What this does is this benefits Joe Biden. McCarthy added that senators will, that Sanders will be stuck in a chair. McCarthy did not mention the other Democratic senators vying for their party's squatteral nomination. Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts, Amy Kobucker, Kobo, Kobo, I'm not see tongue twisted sometimes. Minnesota, Michael Bennett from Colorado and Cory Booker from New Jersey, who also have to attend the impeachment trial in person. On the same show, Senator Rick Scott, who's a Republican from Florida, said he wanted Biden's son Hunter to testify but did not mention any other possible witnesses. When it comes to deciding which witnesses, if any, would testify, Scott said that would be decided after the trial was underway. We're going to follow the Senate rules. We're not we're not going to follow Nancy Pelosi's rules. Um um um, in Brad Scott said, we're going to listen to both sides and we'll make a decision. Former 45 strategist Kev Stephen, Steve Bannon, for his part, said that 45 should allow his staffers to testify in exchange for having Joe and Hunter Biden as well as others such as the initial CIA whistleblower whose complaint is at the center of the impeachment inquiry appear before senators in the trial. The House impeachment inquiry focused in part on whether the squatter and probably pressured Ukraine's president to investigate Hunter Biden's ties to Ukraine's largest private gas company, Burisma, and whether his father sought to protect Burisma's owner while serving as vice president. No evidence of criminal wrongdoing by the Bidens has ever surfaced, but 45 and other Republicans said they ought to be questioned either way. I think those witnesses need to be called banned and said, adding that Bolton and acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney could also appear during the trial bring them. What do they have to show? 45 did nothing wrong. 45 committed crimes. That's what's fucking wrong. But these, but no matter how many times you tell these inbreeding rednecks, they never get it through their fuck, fuck, they, they never get it through their pick fucking skull. Before Monday, for before midday, forty five tweeted, "Why should I have the stigma of impeachment attached to, to my name when I did nothing wrong? Yes, you did. You fucking committed crimes. You fucking lied. Those are fucking crimes. A totally partisan a hoax. Very unfair to tens of millions of voters. Forty five claimed that three Democrats voted with Republicans to oppose impeachment." In fact, only two Democrats voted against the charge of abuse of power, while the other three voted against the charges of obstruction of justice. But yep.